Welcome to Darasa Online. My name is Kevin Nkwela. I'm accountancy teacher. Today we are proceeding with the topic of uh, the nature and the context of accounting. Last time when we met, we discussed about uh, the concept of accountants, uh, accounting information, or financial information, users, and uh, basic uh, accounting principles. Now, today, we are discussing about uh, uh, books of uh, prime entry. So our coverage will be books of prime, prime entry. Of course, we'll discuss uh, uh, five of them, and uh, we'll see that uh, next time. And uh, another one will be discussed uh, next time when we meet. Now, I'm expecting that at the end of this revision, a student will be able to enter transaction in the box of uh, prime entry. Now, what, what is a, a book of uh, prime entry? A book of prime entry is a, a chronological record of a business transaction arranged according to type. For example, cash or sales. The books are then used to generate entries in double entry bookkeeping system. Other names for book of prime entry is a book of original entry, journal, day book, or subsidiary book. Now, we have uh, various types uh, of uh, books of prime entry. Now, the main one, one is cash book, and the cash book used it to record uh, cash and the bank receipts and the payments. Then we have sales day book. This is uh, used uh, to record uh, credit sales. We have uh, purchases day book. This is used to record credit purchases. We have purchases return day book used to record goods returned to suppliers. We have sales return day book used to record goods returned by customers. And also we have general journal or journal proper used to record other transactions which, owing to their nature, cannot be recorded in the books mentioned in the above categories. For example, purchase and sales of non-current asset on credit, correction of accounting errors, writing of bad debts, and uh, for recording opening and uh, closing entries. So... Uh, now let's uh, start uh, to write uh, entries in uh, the books of accounts. Now let's see uh, this uh, question first. Then we'll start uh, to write our lesson two illustrative question. The following information appeared in the books of TBL Limited on 31st January 2018. During the month of January, the following transactions took place. First January, TBL Limited commenced business with the Tanzania shillings 500,000 cash into bank. On 2nd January, bought goods by check, Tanzania shillings 200,000. On 6th January, bought goods on credit from Babago at least plus 750,000 Tanzania shillings, less trade discount 20%. On 7th January, returning goods costing Tanzania shillings 50,000 net of trade discount to Babago, these goods were bought on 6th January 2018. 7th January, the same day, Bought goods on credit from Jaluo, Tanzania shillings 350,000. On 8th January, we bought goods on credit from Chelewa, 
Tanzania shillings 800,000. On 10th January, cash sales paid direct into bank, Tanzania shillings 500,000. On 13th January, sold goods on credit to La Ala, Tanzania shillings 575,000. On 14th January, bought goods on credit from Limomote, Tanzania shillings 700,000. On 15th January, bought goods on credit from NASA, Tanzania shillings 250,000. On 18th January, sent an invoice to Masuka for goods sold at a list price of Tanzania shillings 500,000, less 10% discount. On 20th January, sold goods to Lotani, Tanzania shillings 900,000. On 21st January, sold goods to Pepekale, Tanzania shillings 600,000. On the 22nd January, send a credit note to Masuka for goods returned with the list price of Tanzania shillings 44,400 and a trade discount 4,400. On 27th January, issued a check to Chelewa in a settlement of amount outstanding less 5% cash discount. On 7th January, sent a check to Babago, Tanzania shillings 500,000 in settlement of Tanzania shillings 550,000. On 28th January, received a check from Masuka in settlement of balance outstanding less Tanzania shillings 20,000 cash discount. On 29th January, a check received from Masuka was dishonored by bank. Record the given transactions in the sales journal, sales returns journal, purchases journal, purchases returns journal, and the cash book. Now, we will go one by one and we will enter to the respective uh, uh, books of prime entry. Now, if you can see in this question, uh, of course, in to cash book, we have only two columns for discount and the bank account. We don't have cash column. So we'll have debit, I mean, we'll have discount for discount, discount allowed and received plus a bank column. So we'll start with the, the cash book, then we'll come to purchases, John. So let's see, open this two column of the cash book, and uh, this is now a solution. So one debit cash book. So credit. So this is the debt column, details, discount, this is discount allowed, discount allowed, and then we will have the column for bank. Now this is also debt, uh, details, discount, now it's a discount received, discount received, then we'll have the column of the column for bank.
so uh, of course uh, here now we have uh, that details discount allowed the bank and also in the credit side will have the same uh, column now as i said earlier the cash book uh, it's used for bank uh, for cash and the bank uh, receipts and the payments so on the first january tbl commenced or started business with the 500 cash into bank so that one now is the capital so we are going to debit bank and the credit capital so we write it on the debit side so the year here it's uh, 2018 2018 first january uh, capital now we have the column for uh, discount and the bank so we'll post it into bank then on the second january we bought goods by check so if we bought goods by check we are supposed to debit purchases and the credit bank so we are going to write uh, on the credit side so we write here 2018 first of january uh, purchases purchases it's uh, 200,000 200,000 on uh, 6th january bought goods on credit uh, this will be entered into purchases journal uh, on 7 returning goods uh, this will go to other uh, journal books uh, on 7 we bought goods on credit this was for purchases journal we bought goods on credit from chelewa this was for purchases journal uh, then we have uh, the transaction which is uh, supposed to be entered in the cash book and uh, this is a uh, cash sales paid directly uh, into bank so we debit bank we credit sales by tanzania shillings uh, 500,000 so we write now on the debit side uh, and uh, this one was a uh, was uh, on the uh, 10th of January. So we write here 10th of January sales. Sales. This is a 500,000. So we are finding out the transaction which are related into the cash book. So we sold the goods on credit, that is a sales journal. We bought goods uh, on credit that is purchases. We bought goods on credit from NASA purchases. Sent an invoice. This is a sales journal. Sold goods sales journal. Sold goods to Pepecal sales journal. Send a credit note to Masuka that is return inwards. Then on 27, we have issued a check to Chelewa in settlement of amount outstanding less five percent cash discount so you are supposed now to check uh, the amount which is uh, outstanding to the chelewa account now the outstanding amount to chelewa it's uh, eight hundred thousand now we are deducting five percent and uh, that one uh, it's a uh, discount received so 800,000 times 5%, it's 40,000. So 40,000 is a discount received. So we are paying him 760,000, and uh, we will receive the discount of 40,000. So we are going to write uh, on the credit side. So we write here on 27th January, Chelewa. the discount is 40,000 and the, the amount into check is 760 
uh, on 27th January sent a check, uh, check to Babago Tanzania shillings 500 in settlement of Tanzania 550 so 50000 will be also discount received so we are going to credit the bank and also we are going to write in the column of discount received 50000 so the same date so we write 27th of January, Babago. This country saved it is the 50, and uh, the amount uh, of a check is uh, 500. Is 500. Now on 28th, we received uh, a check uh, from Masuka in settlement of balance outstanding less 20,000 20, cash discount. Now remember that uh, we received uh, goods from Masuka uh, that is returned inwards uh, amounted 40,000. So the, uh, the amount outstanding it's uh, 410,000. So if we less uh, 20,000 cash discount, will it be 390,000. Now 20,000 now is a discount allowed. So we are going to debit bank and uh, credit uh, Masuka company. So we write here now on 28th January, Masuka. Masuka Company. Now the amount of discount allowed uh, is uh, 20,000. The amount of discount allowed is 20,000. And uh, the amount which we have received now is uh, 390,000. So that is uh, the amount which we are going to record. Now on 29th, a check received from Masuka was uh, dishonored by bank. We deposited, but the bank uh, uh, dishonored our check. So we are going to reverse this uh, entry by writing on the credit side. The same amount now will appear on the credit side. So we write here, this is uh, on 29th January. We, we, we write here discount, Masuka, Masuka, Masuka Kampan. We write the same figure of discount. Now will be discount received, 20,000, and uh, also the amount which was uh, dishonored into a bank. That is uh, 390,000. Okay, so we are through with the cash uh, bank transaction. Now we are supposed to calculate the difference uh, to be a balance uh, curl down. Now if you add well, of course uh, this side is bigger than this side. So our balance curl down now will be on uh, this side. And uh, that is uh, the uh, overdraft overdraft so we write here uh, this is uh, january we have uh, 31 days so we write here 31 of january balance curl down of course the uh, the total bank call uh, uh, the total bank into credit side the total is one million eight hundred and fifty so if you deduct five hundred thousand 500,000 and 390,000, you remain with the 460,000. So we write here 460,000. So the total now, of course, there's no balance for discount. There's no balance for discount. So total discount allowed is 20,000. And uh, here now, the total is uh, 1 million. 
now here the total discount received it's 90 plus 20 it's 110,000 so 110,000 and here the total will be the same with this one uh, this is 1,850,000 so our balance brought down now will be on the credit side to show the overdraft and uh, this is uh, February now, uh, first day of February, balance brought down, it's this uh, overdraft uh, of 460,000. So this is uh, our cash book and the special bank column. Now let's move to another book uh, of uh, journal, and uh, that is now purchases journal. This is now purchases John. This is number two now. Purchases. So into purchases journal, we have uh, three columns. We have uh, column for debt, we have column for details or particular, and uh, we have column for amount. So we write here debt, details, and uh, here it's uh, amount. Okay, we've seen that uh, purchases journal it is used it to record the credit purchases. So we'll just uh, take only credit purchases to write uh, into the purchases journal. So we start with the 2nd January where we bought goods by check. Uh, this is uh, we bought goods by check. So that one was already entered uh, into cash book. But on 6th January, we bought goods on credit from Babago at a list price of 750000 less trade discount 20%. Now, trade discount, it's a, a discount whereby you used to negotiate the purchasing price. So we just deduct it and they will not be entered in the books of accounts. So if you take 750,000 multiply by 20%, you'll get 150,000. So 750,000 less 150,000 will remain with the 600,000. And this amount of 600 will be entered into purchases journal. So we just write here, uh, the year is uh, 2018, 2018, and uh, this is now on, on the 6th January. January 6th. So our, uh, our workings or calculation will be shown into details column. So we just write uh, uh, January 6, uh, this is uh, Babago, Babago, uh, purchases was the uh, purchases is uh, 750,000 less 20% trade discount, trade discount, just initials, uh, trade discount, or just right here, less 20% trade discount. So the 20% is uh, 150,000. 150,000. So the amount now, this one minus this one is 600. 
600,000. So that is uh, the amount which will be in the invoice. Then we go to on, on, on the 7th where we bought goods on credit from Dialuo, Tanzania shillings 350. Here we don't have a trade discount. We just write the figure. So this is uh, on 7th January. Okay, it's already written January. So we just write Dialuo. Uh, just write yellow and uh, the amount uh, the amount now is uh, 350,000 350,000 then we go to a uh, eighth we bought goods on a credit from Chelewa Tanzania shilling say 800,000 there's no trade discount here or so. So we just write uh, the amount directly to amount column. So this is the uh, eight uh, Chilewa. Uh, the amount uh, is uh, 800,000. 800,000. Then on the 14th, we bought goods on credit from Limomoti, 700,000. Now this amount, I mean there's no trade discount in this transaction. We just bought goods on credit from Limomoti, 700,000. So we just write here, 14th, Limomoti, uh, Limomoti seven hundred thousand. Then on the fifteen, we bought goods on credit from NASA, Tanzania shillings two hundred and fifty. We don't have uh, a trade discount here. We just write it directly to the amount column. So we write here on the 15th, then NASA shillings 250,000. Then we don't have uh, another transaction uh, relating to purchases or purchases on credit. So we just uh, added this total, and uh, the total now will be transferred into general ledger into purchases account. So the total here, if you add it properly, you'll get 2,700,000. 2,700,000. Now this total will be transferred at the end of the month, that is on 31st, transferred to purchases account, to purchases account into general ledger, into general ledger, to million seven hundred seven so we are through with the second book of original entry now we are going to the third one we are going to the third one Now the third one now will be purchases return. So the third one here, uh, purchases, purchases uh, 
purchases returns returns journal we'll have the same column like here so we'll have the column for debt we have a column for details we have the column for amount Now, on January 6, returning goods costing 50,000 net of trade discount to Babago. These goods were bought on 6 January 2018. 6 is this one. So, we're returning goods to Babago. Okay? Goods worth, goods worth 50,000. Uh, net of a trade discount. It means that uh, we've already deducted the amount of trade discount. So 50,000 now is coming from this amount of 600,000. So we return now these goods to Babago. So we don't need to calculate again. We just uh, write here the return. So uh, this is 2018. The amount, I mean, the date is uh, January, January 6. We're returning goods to Babago. The, to the amount is uh, 50,000. So uh, we don't have uh, another return. We don't have another return. And uh, this amount now will be transferred uh, into general ledger into the account uh, of uh, purchases return accounts. Another name for purchases return is return outwards. So you can either write uh, return outwards or you can write uh, purchases return. So we transfer this on 31st January. So we write here uh, transferred transferred uh, to purchases returns purchases returns account into general ledger the total amount of course The fourth one is a sales journal. Uh, of course, the sales journal, this is number four. Sales journal. Okay, we'll have the same column for that. Details. and the uh, amount. Our year is the same, that is uh, 2018. 2018. So on 13th of January, we sold goods uh, on credit uh, to La Ala Tanzania shillings five hundred seventy five thousand. We sold goods, no trade discount, no what. So we just write uh, here that debt that is uh, January thirteen La Ala now the other, of course, will go to the debtors. The amount is uh, 575000 Then on your uh, 18th, 
we sent an invoice to Masuka for goods sold at least price of Tanzania shillings 500,000 less 10% trade discount. So we sent an invoice to Masuka. So Masuka is our data. So we write now on 18th January. We write here on 18th January. We write Masuka less less uh, it's uh, ten percent less ten percent less ten percent uh, trade discount trade discount uh, trade discount now the amount of list price is 500,000. 500,000. So we list 10%. Now 10% of 500 is 50,000. So we list here 50,000. So the net or the amount which will be shown in the invoice is 450,000. 450,000. So we still have other data, so we proceed here. Uh, this is a debt column, is a continuation. Is a continuation. So that is on 18th. Now we are going to 20th. Uh, 20th. Now we sold goods to Lotani 900,000. And then on 21st, we sold goods to Pepekale, uh, Tanzania shillings is 600,000. And uh, we don't have a trade discount in these two transactions. So we are going to record it directly to to the sales journal. So we write now on the 20th, we write Lotani, the amount is 900,000. Then on 21st, we write Pepe, this is uh, 600. So we are through with the credit sales, and uh, therefore now we add the total credit sales. So if you add it properly here, uh, you'll get uh, 2 million. 2 million. 525,000. So this amount now, at the end of, uh, this amount represent credit sales for the month. And uh, therefore, we are transferring this total to uh, general ledger into sales account. So we write here, 31st, transferred, transferred, to sales account in general ledger. So we are through with the sales journal. Now we are going to the last journal that is a sales returns journal. Sales returns journal. The fifth one now is a sales returns journal.
Now on 22nd, on 22nd January, send a credit note to Masuka for goods returned with the list price of Tanzania shillings 44,400 and a trade discount Tanzania shillings 4,400. So 2018, 2018, uh, January 22, January 22, this is a uh, Masuka. So returns the list uh, price was uh, 44,400 less a trade discount less trade discount 4400 so the net one is uh, 40000 so at the end of the month that is the uh, 31st january uh, we transfer this so transferred Transferred, transferred it to, uh, to to sales returns account to sales returns sales returns account in general ledger the total so we are through with the all five uh, books of uh, original entry now these are creditors we have uh, babago jaluo chelewa limomoti and uh, nasra now this will be posted to purchases ledger on the credit side and uh, to complete the double entry the total purchases account will be posted uh, to the debit side of the purchases account in the general ledger. Then purchases return. Now the total will be credited into general ledger, uh, into the account of the purchases return. So we will credit purchases return, but uh, Babago now will be debited by 50,000. Says journal. We have La Ala Masuka Lotani Pepekal. This will appear into data's ledger on the debit side. The total, this will go to sales account in the general ledger. Uh, for returns inwards or sales returns, now Masuka will be credited by this amount of 40000 and the total will go to the debit side of the sales returns account or return inwards in the general ledger. And this is a double entry for this one. So we are through up to here for today. Uh, we, next time when we meet, we'll proceed with the question of general proper. So if you have uh, any question right now, you can ask, otherwise we'll meet next time. Thank you very much.